Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. All right, today we're going to go over B vitamin mnemonics. Uh, so here we go. First thing, of course, is that we have uh, water soluble vitamins versus fat soluble vitamins. B vitamins are water soluble, as are C vitamins. Uh, so here are the names, and the trick is how do you remember the number with the name? So B1 is thiamine, B2 is riboflavin, B3 is niacin, B5 is pantothenic acid. Notice there's a skip between three and five. Uh, there is no four. B6 is pyridoxine. B7 is biotin. B9 is folate. B12 is cobalamin. So let's kind of move on to the next. And what we'll do is we'll divide this into thirds. Um, first, uh, we'll uh, take a look at thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go from the bottom up. So we're going to say that B1 is thiamine, looking at this skeleton's thigh. Riboflavin is rib, so THI from thigh, RIB from riboflavin. And then if you pronounce it, I, I thought it was an Australian accent, but it actually comes out more of a South African accent. If you say nick rather than neck, you can get the NIC that's in niacin. So again, it's the thigh, the rib, and the nick. Uh, so the thigh, the rib, and the neck remind you that B1, B2, and B3 going from the bottom up are thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin. The next three, now we'll get uh, a little crazy with the, the picture here, uh, but we're going to have pantothenic acid, so pants. Uh, and I, I have no idea why there was uh, this skeleton with the genes, but uh, it was available for purchase, so I was able to get the picture. Uh, pyridoxine, think of a pyramid, so upside down pyramid, the way the rib cage kind of comes down, right? You guys are uh, old enough to remember Mork and Mindy. Uh, that was the kind of symbol on the front of Mork. Uh, and then biotin, uh, the tin hat uh, on top of the skeleton. So, so we have B5 is pantothenic acid with pants. B6 is pyridoxine with the pyramid upside down. And then biotin is the tin hat. Okay. The last two we'll use uh, just a forest and a beautiful blue sky. Uh, so forest for folate, that's B9. And then B12 is cobalamin uh, with the cobalt sky. I know this isn't exactly cobalt. It's not exactly that blue. It's actually kind of a green, but just, just roll with me here. Forest and cobalt sky, folate and cobalamin are B9 and B12. So let's dive into to what they're good for three at a time. So first B1 or thiamine, um, this converts carbs to glucose, uh, prevents Wernicke's encephalopathy uh, in alcoholism or liver disease. So I'll get a little picture of a beer there and some uh, cirrhotic liver. Uh, B2 is riboflavin, deficiency due to alcoholism, vegan, vegetarian lifestyle, uh, malabsorption, just can't absorb it, or lactose intolerance. And then B3 niacin is great for high triglycerides, where we're really trying to stabilize that plaque uh, as an add-on for statins, um, where the statins, uh, maybe they get the LDL down, but just not the triglycerides where you want to be so you can avoid pancreatitis. Uh, and you would need maybe to give an aspirin 30 minutes before uh, to avoid that flushing effect. Okay. All right, let's move on to the next. So... B5, pantothenic acid, it synthesizes coenzyme A for fatty acid metabolism. And you can think of the A in acid and the word acid for coenzyme A and fatty acid metabolism. B6, pyridoxine, you, this is for alcoholism and peripheral neuropathy from isoniazid. Isoniazid is one of those um, drugs for TB. And okay, so, uh, again, the ripe mnemonic, when you have a TB induration, that's ripe. Okay, so rifampin, isoniazid, uh, and so forth. 
Okay, so the XYZ mnemonic is to take the X and the Y from pyridoxine and match it up to the Z in isoniazid. Okay, and that peripheral neuropathy is really this picture. We have this exclamation point and somebody's really having trouble feeling their fingers. Uh, so fingers and toes, that's uh, a lot of times where that peripheral neuropathy shows up. Um, it may show up as uh, not being able to button a, a shirt as well. Uh, so it, it doesn't necessarily show up as, as pain. It's just can't always just really use your fingers as you'd like to. Uh, biotin, that helps enzymes break down carbs, fats, and proteins. But really skin and hair is where we see it in, in beauty products, especially. Uh, so the in from biotin for skin uh, and then the hair, uh, again, I just got a picture of someone who's uh, an athlete, good hair, good skin. Uh, B9 is folate. Uh, this is where we want to prevent those neural tube defects and think of the F in folate and the F in defects. Uh, deficiency is a reduced hemoglobin level. And really, B9 is critical for red blood cell production. Uh, to be honest, you, you need B9, iron, and B12. And if you think of a nine iron, if you know golf a little bit, uh, a nine iron being used on the 12th hole, you can put the nine, the iron, and the 12 all together. And uh, there's a very famous shot uh, on the 18th hole that uh, where uh, someone just yelled out, be right. And the B from be right is just, you know, you know be right, be the right shot. And so here again, we're, we're using that B. So B9 iron on the B12 hole, um, hopefully that helps you remember that iron, B9 and B12 need to go together uh, to uh, really form those red blood cells properly. Uh, B12 is cobalamin. Uh, so it's for macrocytic, not microcytic, and pernicious anemia. So the MA in cobalamin for macrocytic, the NI in cobalamin for pernicious anemia. And then a lot of the letters from anemia are in cobalamin. So if you're somebody that can kind of do those word scrambles, I think that's helpful. Uh, a lot of those people that have gastric bypass surgery, you think, oh my gosh, that's so great. They, you know, they don't aren't hungry and things like that. But uh, really, it does cause a lot of problems in terms of B12. Um, uh, celiac and Crohn's disease, uh, these are two uh, issues that would definitely uh, necessitate um, adding some B12. And then a deficiency, again, just like with B9 and folate, uh, will you know, de equal uh, reduced hemoglobin level for red blood cell production. Um, so uh, again, both of these really work in tandem. Uh, to help uh, you know those red blood cells properly form, and then this was supposed to be uh, the the nine iron and the golf course and all of that, but uh, it turned out to be just <laughs> grass and sky. But uh, think of a nine iron on the twelfth hole, and uh, I think it'll be a lot easier to remember. Again, this is uh, for informational purposes only. It is not medical advice. So if you've got a medical condition, consult a medical professional. Thanks for listening to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. You can find episodes, cheat sheets, and more at memorizingpharm.com. Again, you can sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Thanks again for listening.